हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस बीम टू फाइंड आउट इट्स सपोर्ट रिएक्शंस सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट फाइंड दिस बीम रिएक्शंस फॉर द बीम इज शोन इन द फिगर सो दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विद द मूवमेंट ऑफ 5 किलो न्यूटन मीटर एक्टिंग एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 2 मीटर फ्रॉम दिस सपोर्ट व्हिच इज अ हिंज सपोर्ट एंड देयर इज अ यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ 2 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर distributed over the length of 2 meter at the left side of the beam so to find out their support reactions let's consider this support reaction is a and this support reaction will be b so these will provide the vertical resistance to the load so it will be represented by ra and it will be represented by rb and we are interested to find out these support reactions the hinge support can also resist the vertical horizontal load r a x we can say but here this reaction will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam so this component of the hinge will be equal to zero so simply we have to find out the vertical support reactions r a and r b so these two are the unknowns in our problem so to start with the solution First of all we have to convert this uniformly distributed load to pointed or concentrated load in order to make it easy so to convert this uniformly distributed load into pointed or concentrated load how to do this we have to multiply this to this distributed load with the distributed length so the distributed load is 2 kN per meter multiplying it with the distributed length it is distributed over the length of 2 meter so multiplying it with the 2 meter 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 will be cancelled so we will only remain with the kilonewton so 2 into 2 4 kilonewton so it means 4 kilonewton is a pointed load acting at the center of this load 4 kilonewton means 2 meter is the distributed length so it will act at a distance of 1 meter from here and 1 meter from here now it is easy to solve this beam now so we have to use three equilibrium equation in order to find out the support reactions these equilibrium equations are summation of horizontal force is equal to 0 summation of vertical force is equal to 0 and summation of moment at any point will be equal to 0 these three equilibrium equation are used to find out the support reactions for the determinant beam in 2d but in this case we don't have any horizontal load on this beam so we don't need this equation also we have two unknowns r a and r b so we can also not use this equation because this equation can only be used when we have only one unknown now the only equation that we can use here is the summation of moment so taking this equation to find out the support reactions let's consider the summation of moment at point a it is equal to 0 so summation of all the moment at point a is equal to 0 this is our assumption and also taking the clockwise moment positive and the empty clockwise moment negative these are just our sign assumption you can also reverse it for example the empty clockwise moment is taken as positive and the clockwise is negative but in this case i took the sign convention the clockwise is positive and the empty clockwise is negative so accordingly we will find all the moments about point a So starting from this, from this end, so the first one is here five kilonewton meter, which is the moment. So at point A, so five kilonewton, it is acting in the clockwise direction. You can see here about point A, so it is it will be positive, five only because it is a moment, five kilonewton meter. Now this load creates a moment about point A in the clockwise direction since it is acting downward, so it is creating moment. in the clockwise direction about point a it is acting downward so it will be again plus because it is taken as positive and this load is 4 multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm force is 4 kN multiplying with the moment arm moment arm is the distance from this load up to the point where we will you find to moment about so it will be from 4 kN up to a point so this is 1 meter here plus 3 meter plus 2 meter so 1 meter plus 3 meter plus 2 meter 
So the total will be 4 kN multiplied with this comes out to be 6. So the total moment arm is 6 meter here. So this 6 meter will be multiplied here. So load into moment arm. So this force will create the moment about point A. Now the next one is RB. It is acting upward. So it will create the moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be taken as negative RB into moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from point B up to point A which is 2 plus 3 plus 2. So total comes out to be C1. Summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. Now shifting this value into the right side. So we got C1 RB comes out to be 5 plus 24. 5 plus 24. Now simply dividing this C1 by this value we will get RB. So RB is equal to 5 plus 24 is 29 C1 RB. Now RB equal to 29 divided by C1. We get RB equal to 4.14 kilonewton. So RB comes out to be 4.14 kilonewton. The next one is the RA which is unknown to us. So now we can use this equation because we have only one unknown. So we can use simply summation of vertical forces equal to zero and taking the upward forces is positive and downward forces is negative. This is again our sign assumption. You can also change these assumptions. So all the vertical forces here will be considered. RA, RB are the forces acting in the upward direction. These are our assumption that these are acting in upward direction. So RA plus RB Another force is 4 kN which is acting downward, so minus 4. Summation of all the forces is equal to 0. Now, Ra will be equal to, if we shift this value into the right side, we get 4 minus Rb. Similarly, Ra will be equal to the 4 minus Rb is equal to 4.14. So, Ra comes out to be minus 0.14 kN. Now, it is interesting to know that we got minus 0.14. What means by minus? It means that our assumed direction was wrong. So this force is not acting in the upward direction, but this we will change into downward direction. This negative sign shows. If it was positive, then it means that our, our assumption was correct, so we have to take this positive. But it is negative, so we have to change our sign here for the R8. It means if R8 force is acting downward with the magnitude of 0.14 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions for a beam with the moment. Also you can say by equilibrium that 4 kN force 4 plus 0.14 these are acting in downward they are balanced with the 4.14 so our whole beam is in equilibrium. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.